Hello beautiful artists, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to my 100 day project. On Mondays and Thursdays we'll be exploring three colors, then paint a subject to see what magic they create. Thank you so much for being here, now let's go paint. I wanted to share with you the supplies that I'm using for the 100 day project. What you see is what I'm using. The only difference is the paint will change with every video. So let me explain what I have here. I've got a ruler, a kneaded eraser for erasing my pencil lines. I have a palette. This is my favorite palette. It's a small palette. It's four and three quarters by six and a quarter. This has four mixing areas, but then the back side has this. It has little wells. I make a lot of smaller paintings, so I like to use this for my mixes. And then there's a little mixing area here. This is a great size and I love it, but for this project, we'll be using the four sides. I have two brushes that I'm mainly using. I have the number 10 snap brush and it's a flat brush. So you can see it's just got a chisel edge. That's what I'm using for the color swatches. And then I've got a Da Vinci Casino in a two. It's a quill brush. It's a round that is heavier bodied down here, so it holds a lot more paint. I'm using a mechanical pencil. This is from Target. It comes with a black and a white pencil in the set. I just like it because it's heavier in my hand and I like to feel my pencils, so that's why I like these. And then for writing the colors, I'm using the Unipin in an 01. So this is a marker, but it's light like a pencil. And this is the light gray and the 0 0.1. Let me show you how this set comes. This is how the set comes. So you can see it's a Unipen in the light gray in the 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. And then there's a medium gray in a 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. And then there's a black in a 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. I love this combination because I've used them all and I really, really love the light ones. So this is a great set to buy. I've got two little binder clips for holding my pages. And then I've got my sketchbook. My sketchbook is handmade by Sketchbook Company and I absolutely love their products. I look for the Fabriana Cold Press and this one is five by seven and a half. It is um, Coptic, Copic bound and lays flat whenever you're painting. I love that about this. <laughs> While this is open, I want you to see that I took every page and went ahead and did my marks. So on the page here, I come in one and a half inches from the left side and draw a line. And then I came in three quarters from this side and drew a line. And that way it ensures that all of my pages are going to have a uniform look so that it looks like this. So all of them are equal distance, just in the measurements I gave you. And this allows me to write the colors that I am using in this area here. And then let's talk paints. <laughs> I have a lot of different brands of paints, but I would say the majority of my paints are Daniel Smith. However, we will be exploring Van Gogh, Winsor Newton, Holbein, American Journey, Seignolet, Mission, Da Vinci, and Schmincke. Yes, I have them all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I am showing you, please use what you have. Just find similar colors and we can always make that work, right? And then I want to introduce you to my subjects, which are leaves. <laughs> I live in a wooded area, so any kind of leaf that I can find, I pick them up daily. It's ridiculous. Yes, I have a huge collection, but I like them. As you see, they're all different shapes and sizes. Some have holes even. Look at those holes. Isn't that fun? And some are just really big. Some are clustered. Some are tiny but I just want you to have fun. I wanted a subject that was 
easily available for myself so that I didn't have to come up with something new every day. Instead, I would take a walk in the yard, I find a leaf that interests me, bring it in, and I put it in my sketchbook. It's that simple.